For the first time in seven years, Boeing is no longer the world's biggest aircraft maker. Its European rival Airbus has bumped it from the top spot, delivering a record 863 aircraft in 2019, while Boeing delivered just 345 planes. The year started off in a, in a promising way. Financially, Boeing was doing rather well. Its share price was up. Then you had that second max crash and everything went from, from bad to worse. The 737 MAX, Boeing's fuel-efficient aircraft, was once its crown jewel. But in March, the plane was grounded globally after being involved in two fatal crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia that killed a total of 346 people. It still remains grounded. In early December, a former employee at Boeing turned whistleblower testified in front of U.S. lawmakers. I formally warned Boeing leadership in writing on multiple occasions, specifically once before the Lion Air crash and again before the Ethiopian Airlines crash about potential airplane risk due to the unstable operating environment within the factory. Those warnings were ignored. Weeks later, Boeing's CEO Dennis Muhlenberg was ousted. In a statement, the company said a change in leadership was necessary to restore confidence in the company moving forward as it works to repair relationships with regulators, customers and other stakeholders. Despite Boeing's troubles in 2019, the stock ended the year with a 1% gain. Remarkable given the headwinds the company still faces in 2020. Boeing is being investigated by numerous U.S. regulators. It is also expected to pay billions in compensation to both the families of the victims in the crashes and airlines for their financial losses related to the 737 MAX. Kaplan says those payments are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Boeing's troubles. The majority of Boeing's losses related to the MAX are not going to be those checks that it's going to be writing out. It's, it's going to be the impact on its business for years to come. Higher costs because of all the additional scrutiny, the additional work it's going to have to do to please the FAA, and lower revenue because right now this is not a particularly attractive aircraft. Kaplan says the company is going to have to work a lot harder to sell what was once its fastest-selling airplane. Corinna Huber, CGTN, New York.